Okay, so we just did maggot debridement therapy on this horse's right foot because the infection there is really bad. The infection on this side though isn't that bad. Um, on the diaper, can you zoom in on this mall? On the diaper, it only has a small spot of drainage, but it is fairly stinky and I don't want it to get any worse or any better. We clean tracked him yesterday, but today I'm actually going to treat him instead with topical oxytetracycline. On his sole, he's got a seam here and on the radiographs, he's got pockets all through this foot. He's got a toe crack that's not great. And the drainage is coming from that spot right there, which we can see based on there's this frog apex. So if we look at where this wrap was on overnight and where that spot is, it's coming out from right there. So what I'm gonna do is take a new diaper and if this gets a lot worse we'll put maggots in here but you know this is a less less intensive measure for the beginning i want to catch the oxytet which i have drawn up in this syringe this is just oxytetracycline um in the syringe it's antibiotic it's in formalin so it's drying and hardening but it's also um, antibiotic it'll flow down in this hole i'm actually going to pour that down in this hole like this and catch it with the diaper so that it's going to disinfect the sole and keep everything nice and hard and dry in that area, like that. Then I'm gonna let that absorb in a little bit. I'm actually gonna put an animal index pad for its drawing capabilities just over that toe. We're adding a little bit of padding to the sole just for additional padding. And because this horse has a heel rub, I'm just being extra cautious. I could wrap a, um, a easy care pad on this sole, but I don't want it to shift and I don't want to pull on his sole that much on his heels. So I'm going to pad his heels there as well. And then if all this stays in place the right way, he can put his foot down, wrap, up, 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 up. See, I just said, if it all stays in place, buddy, and then wrap this on and I'll check this tomorrow and see what it looks like. So wrap on the diaper, his heel's nice and padded, so I'm not gonna worry about a rub. I know, That's, those maggots are gonna feel weird in that other foot. Okay, gotta protect the little feet though. Just wrap this on with a little bit of vet wrap. Doesn't have to be too much vet wrap because we're gonna put, um, duct tape on the bottom. Duct tape mat. This is the nice thick Gorilla duct tape so that he can be turned out in the paddock and not wear through his wrap. And then you can see he's got that nice padding on this heel. And then I'm gonna take thinner duct tape. This is just thinner stuff because it's easier to cut through and this doesn't have to be on very long. And I'm gonna just make sure that this whole thing stays on from the top by making the opening at the top narrower than his foot. That way he can't slip out of it if he lays down and gets up. But I'm gonna make sure that I can get my finger in. See, it's a little tight right here. I can't quite get my finger in there. Can I have the scissors? Thank you. So I don't want it that tight. Of course, he's also a good boy. He's leaning on it. So I'm just gonna make a slit in the vet wrap over his coronary band so I don't want it to be that tight there. See, now I can get my finger in. And that's just fine, it'll stay on. But the duct tape being narrower at the top than his foot is what, it doesn't have to be tight, it just needs to make the, the neck of that wrap smaller than his foot so he can't slip out of it. And I can still get my finger in there just like that. So I know it's not too tight. And that's it. He's done. And then we'll check that tomorrow and see how much drainage we have. And we can clean tracks him again. And if the drainage gets worse, we can always put larval debridement therapy in that foot as well. But this is a less intensive measure of intervention. So hope that's interesting. Thanks. Bye.